Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfes. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Carrier. Um, Wouldn't it be terrible if that guy just got up right in the middle of your intro? <laughs> Boy, that would <laughs> that would put a spring in my step. But, um, yeah, Carrier. Um, I don't even remember what we did in the last episode. Um, we met the depressed Irish guy. Depressed Irish and guy. And then we met him again. Because um, yeah, character modeling is hard. Oh, and we saw the invisible monsters like that yeah. one. Yeah. And we sent the guy's brother out to the um, aircraft hangar, which I've, I'm being honest, I just thought that guy was his own brother because the characters tend to look alike in this game. Because character modeling is hard. And we do have uh, Christopher walking through, so we might have to, and we're on a first name you basis. You did get with your um, two floppy disks. Maybe yeah, where do I go with those? Yeah, maybe go see that guy in the other room. There's a lot of rooms. Yeah, I think it's like this around way, that way. Through here. Yeah, and then through <laughs> that door. And this should take you back to that first kind of hallway we were at that had like the medical room and all that. Yeah, I'm totally remember all of this. Ah! 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 Oh gosh! Oh no! Yeah, this is the hall that had all the plants, the really pretty hall. I mean, this don't look pretty. Ah! Oh, no! Don't eat me! And, like, I... And there's a big old thing outside that window. I don't know if that's just for ambiance or if it's going to break through at some point. I'm going to run away so we don't find out. How's uh -huh. that sound? <laughs> I mean, I'm almost certain that's going to be a boss. Like, I know how video games do. Like, this ain't the first video game Man, I've that would be played. a hard place for a boss, because it's all tight and cramped. Don't give it any ideas. There's a memo in his jacket. Memo from Captain Obtained. That's a weird name for a captain. Captain Obtained. <laughs> <laughs> Orders. Deck 1 Emergency Lock Activation. Ship Captain James McGregor. In order to isolate crew members that have gone insane due to an unknown parasite, I have decided to activate the Deck 1 Emergency Lock. Um, deactivation code 5103. Okay, Deck 1 Emergency Lock. 5103. Oh no! Why do there have to be so many of yuns? Behind you. Yep, I see him. Oh! Alright. Well, this is where our mission ends, guys. <laughs> really? It there's like another there's one, one in there? Door. And like he's trying to get through. <laughs> I'm a glitch my way through that door. Don't give the Dreamcast ideas. You know you can't shoot it through the door. An iron gate. It looks like it would take a bomb to get it open. Ah! I mean, I knew they were there. Why did it? Linky boys. Yeah, like... Um, Is that the this room? Yeah, not the doc, but the computer dude. Yeah, the computer dude. Yeah, yes. here he is. What up, brah? This computer's running wild. It won't tell me anything about the ship. The security lock is complicated. What a pain. You better bring those discs soon. There's not much time. Uh, Boy, he sounds like a real gem to work with. Yeah, no. Uh, how many discs do I need to bring? He said two. Am I out of ammo? Uh oh. Um. How do you see your inventory? And... 
have no idea. Boy, you know how there's like the LP that like puts you to sleep? <laughs> this. This is that LP. Yeah, so. As I literally bang the microphone, how'd that sound for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? You're back! You missed me that much, huh? They're bringing sexy back. I like in this game, though, if there is things to like, um, I like how they have a target on the bad guys. This is the doctor room with the carrots. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, dude! Who are you? I'm with the team sent by NTA. Really? So we can get out of here? It's impossible as long as the intercept system is active, but I'll take care of it. Yes, sir. You go up to the flight deck and wait for rescue. I love how he tells them go up to the flight deck and nobody does. <laughs> it's like, why am I even here, man? Dude, it's Mars. I'm a dream cat. idea where I'm going or what I'm doing, but, um... Just like life. <laughs> yes. Well, I think this takes us back up to the bridge. Yeah, so... And either way, that thing's broken, so... I literally just... Wait, so he's sending them all to the flight deck. Where is the flight deck? Oh, up there. Where uh the elevator can't take them. Um, so I, obviously, obviously I have some questions about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, why no one's there? Why no one's there? Why we're sending them to a place they can't get to? <laughs> You'll be safe here on the flight deck, but the access to the flight deck is broken. So yeah, Halloween times, we've, um... I'll have some spooky things. You may already have seen them. You may not have seen them by this point. Um, depends on my time management. But my, since it took me over a year to get the Dreamcast Nerdinalia up, I mean... It was a really good video, though. Well, thank you. But, um, yeah, you know. Well, so we'll see what we see. Oh, dude. If you would have just went to the flight deck where you wouldn't be in my way, I wouldn't have to pull my gun on you. <laughs> you know, that is kind of interesting, because, like, you see a character and you don't know if they're monster or human. Yeah, like, we're gonna have a lot of unnecessary casualties here, man. But, um, uh, yeah, we've got some scary stuff. We're going to, um... Uh, Horror Nights this year again. I love Horror Nights. When we did our Ill Bleed playthrough last year, um, I was like, oh my gosh, am I literally going to die from fright at Horror Nights? Oh, Horror Nights is so much fun. It is. Yep, we're so excited about it. Um, in our time where we are now in the present, we just got the announcement today of The Us of the House. Of The Us House, yes. Which is like one of the best movies of the year. 
haven't seen it yet. Um, you know, I'm very behind on movie watching. People are like, oh, Jordan, did you see X, Y, and Z movie? No. I took you to see Annabelle Comes Home. That was fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a, let us know down in the comment section below what you thought of Annabelle Comes Home. That was... I thought it was pretty good. That, nothing happened. It's kind of like Carrier, <laughs> where literally nothing is happening. So I asked Christopher. Yes, what's Christopher walking through? I um, apparently, like when we were in the locker room with that invisible dude, we exited the way we came. Uh, but this okay. is saying we should be going out to a highly vegetated room. So it almost seems like maybe there was another exit in that locker room we should have taken. I feel you. I don't know where. Are you that one, dude? Go quickly. Please go quickly. Don't make me weld you. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I think it was behind, behind like, the here. big door. Behind the big door. Yeah. No, it wasn't to the zombie gate door. Yeah, I don't like zombie gate door. Good old zombie gate. That was a scandal for the ages, you know? Zombie gate. I'm the Dreamcast. Security room. You know how some episodes of an LP is just the idiot, like, wandering Aww. around aimlessly? Well, you know, you gotta have those episodes to build up to the really exciting ones where you fight a boss or get more story. Or get, um, yeah. Yeah, like, the story about this, it's, um, a nor the South, um, uh, is envy of... The, the, wrong the, way. Wrong way, wrong way, right way. They can't all be the wrong way. But this is most assuredly the wrong way. I am, I'm noticing I'm bleeding with every step I take. That probably isn't good. Probably not. Is that the door, the big gray thing? No. Oh, no. Sometimes you put on an LP video just for the quiet and the company. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the spoopy season. I love the autumn time with the leaves changing and all the great food, the pumpkin spice latte. Indeed, and this October we are heading out to Japan. I've been 11 years ago, and um, I'm interested to see how much it's changed. Um, I've Rom never been. Yeah, Squeak Doo's never been. I'm taking Rom Doo and Squeak Doo. Um, Raggy didn't want to go, so um, okay. Um, yeah, so we're heading... Rami's just doing the Tokyo Disney uh, portion, and Squeak Doo and I were going to continue to some of the other theme parks and getting all that planned out. So, yeah, Japan's on the agenda. You'll see some Japan vlogs at some point, and... Yeah. Okay, is this the big door? Okay. No, I was mistaken when I said big door earlier. You know, little door. Deactivate the intercept system. You gotta go to the weapons control room on deck six. Hey man, be careful. This is the big door. Yep. Alright, let's go. Alright, the locker room. The locker room. In that case, I need my welder still. Okay. Pilot prep room, yeah. So that's where you want to go to. I love how it points to a wall. To a wall, like, huh? I don't really know how to handle that. Actually. 
actually. It couldn't be through here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, dude! For such a welding. Okay, I can't suck too much now. It's the real horror. The real horror is that I think, yeah, yeah, this is good enough to Yeah, upload. there's a door right there. Yeah, there is a door right there. Let's let's go through it. After looking at this fine poster board, a picture of some of the crew. The date is April 9th, 2022, which is less than three years away. Yeah. Ross, I hope everyone is okay. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, nothing about this situation screams everything is okay, you know? Oh, just little micey. scary. Alright, so we found a new area, so episode three is not a total waste. Yay! <laughs> it's locked. Day two. I have been There was another door back there the way you came. Yeah, like right there. Does this whole thing take place on the carrier, I wonder? Oh! Ooh, ooh. Right in the twins there, I swear. <laughs> well, might as well look at him. Uh-oh! That's usually a good idea to run like my life depends on it. hits do you guys take? I swear. Well, you are using the um, basic weapon. Used to be one of the crew members. So what was the point of this room? Yeah, that didn't seem to help at all. Here? I didn't try this door, did I? Or no, this was the door that led to the locker room, yes? I guess we'll see. Yes. Oh, monsters. Yes. The vegetated room. All right. This is where you want to be. Navigation deck, flight control deck. So many monsters in here. 
There's a ton of nonsense in here. You just hanging out, bro? <laughs> Outside is never a good place to be. As a gamer, you know. I would love one of those, uh, savey things. Um. Here's a ladder. You know, now that I'm playing, like, more of this, it's not as horrible as I thought it was. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, well, no, interesting's a very charged and uh, label -y word for it. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's doable. It's... Doable, which I, you know, when I had pr played this before, um, recording these sessions, you know, um, it was not doable. Sir, this is Gap. Sir, I'm on my way to the bridge. The partition for the corridor of the deck two is closed. Captain Lang is in the security room, trying to open it. And I'm looking for the necessary discs. Um, other M, how he would give her permission to use her weapons. <sighs> A mechanic that I was not wild about. Yeah, Other M, that, that's a video that back in the days when I really um, hung out on Amino, um, you know, um, a lot of people were like, oh, can you do a video on Other M? And I really should. Yeah. I mean... Ship's Log, 2023, April, James McGregor. April 1st, yeah, <laughs> April Fools. The hurricane mission was a success. We are now headed back to port. The NFUO 36's performance was much better than I expected. April 2nd, I have received a coded transmission from headquarters. We are requested to take on board the ancient organism ARC found on island NC0023. The reasons for this request are unknown. April 3rd, ARC taken on board at NC0023. Course plotted for the port town of Newhouse. Not to endanger the environment, transport of ARC was requested. April 4th, there was an explosion in the engine room and sections were damaged. We have heard from the information department that there may be a Southern Cross spy on board, but we do not know if the spy is responsible for the explosion. Fortunately, the damage will not affect our progress. April 5th, one of the sailors assigned to the repair of the engine room mutated and suddenly attacked and killed a fellow crew member. An emergency countermeasure meeting is scheduled for tonight. April 6th. The number of mutations among the crew is growing at a terrifying rate. Z-O-E is damaged. Poor Zoe. Poor Zoe. We are no longer able to transmit. I fear it will become impossible to return the ship to its original state. April 7th. We fought the onslaught of the mutants to no avail. I have no idea what else we can do here. All I know is that mutants cannot be allowed to reach land. Oh, yeah, that would not be good. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and call this episode here. It started out really, really boring, but we're, the progress is slow. I mean, this game isn't the most, like, exciting. It isn't, it doesn't have the heart-pounding speed of Dino Crisis, but it doesn't have the slow, ominous atmospheres of Resident Evil, so you get kind of a mad thing, but it is more enjoyable than I remember it, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good assessment. More enjoyable than I remember it. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Jordan Rolfes from Beagle Rampant Productions. 
And I'm Selena Rolfes. <laughs> yeah, you I forgot have... your line. Well, like, for the past two episodes, I haven't said an outro. You just didn't Oh, yeah, outro. no. I've been so a I... rude little monster, I? thought we were I? keeping that up. I thought that was, like, our vibe. And then, and, and then I just... <laughs> huh. Maybe the real monster isn't the plant. Maybe it's the <laughs> narcissistic uh, <laughs> owner of Beagle Rampant, you know? It's the friends you made along it's the way. It's the friends you made along the way. So, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you guys know you're the best fans of any YouTuber on the world, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.